Good morning, you guys. It's Adrian. I'm just wanted to hop on here and show you guys my face. I'm about to actually head out. I'm packing my purse and um, the waters I had got, right? These waters are so cool. Got the little pop cap. Let me show you. Well, I feel like, yeah, I took off yesterday and um, I got a lot of rest yesterday, but at, towards the evening, something was like, go to Target. So I went to Target and I had got some a uh, freaking gold fork set. Look how cool these tops is on this water. You just, it's like a pop cap top. Ain't it so cool? I got to see my cousin and this girl on Sunday. Sunday because they was, um, they plane was leaving Sunday evening. So they did stop by and uh, came to see me. So I was happy about that. Just knowing my family was out here and came to see me like always motivates me and keeps me going while I'm out here in Cali by myself, honestly. But just that feeling of seeing my cousin, it makes me feel so good, you know. He's doing good. Hey, that's all that matters. Family is, is always, you know, the good family. You got family out there that's just grimy and doing all sorts of things towards you just to hurt you and stuff like that i only mess with people that want to bring you up want to see you doing good you feel me those are the type of family members if you're not doing good or you're not doing good by other people i don't want to be around that bad energy like i'm cutting off bad energy period like little do they know i like my peace so it's not hurting me one bit but yeah, these is um these little waters I'm geeked up because they eight ounces, and they say drink like four bottles of water, eight ounces, and these are so easy to just chug. So I got one. I just drunk one. I'm drinking another one, and I got one in my purse. It's so small. I can keep it in my purse. And I got. I took it out the box, but I had got a gold fork set from Target. I'm going to show you the ones that was like in the front that's displayed. And I've never had a gold fork set. Y'all know that's my favorite color. Gold. Look at that. These are so cute. I like how petite the actual fork is where you hold it. It's so petite. Ah. Forks. You got a bigger spoon, smaller spoon. They're just so petite. You see how petite it is? I like that. I was like, I'm gonna have to get that. These was fifty dollars as a twenty piece set. So I'm when I get back home, I'm going to wash them and everything like that. But I had stopped at Target like that, and I actually got some dish towels for my stove look at that they're like spring spring summer colors like a yellow blue yellow yellow and white so i was like let me get my stove something because it's clean doing good i like i like the little revampness i did to it so that's what i did Mm, let this water out. I was so tired yesterday. I went to sleep at like 8.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. This morning I had took this immune supplement drops. Let me show you. I took first I took these little um metabolic advance. It's supposed to give you energy and everything like that. This is a green coffee 
and green tea. It's a thyroid formula. So I took it because it supports healthy metabolism, promotes thyroid health, and enhances energy. I took it more towards the energy. I just want to, you know, have energy. It's a cloudy day to day, high 66. And I took this daily immune support. This is like a collado silver bioactive silver. I was so scared to take this stuff because I do my research thoroughly on stuff before I take it. But they was like a man turned blue when he took this stuff, but he was taking the wrong stuff. So, and then it says like after like 10 days, you might want to give it a break or something like that. But yeah, it's immune support and everything like that. So it helps like you could put it on topical if you have any cuts or scrapes or anything like that. It's supposed to, you know, really heal it to the max. So, hey, I'm trying to boost my immune system if it's not already boosted, but I just want to uh, maintain a healthy immune system. That's why I, I'm taking this, you know, I'm taking this. And also, like, I have a cabinet full of stuff. I actually just got a bunch of supplements because I was just, you know, taking in teas and everything like that. But I also take MSM capsules. This is a big jug. This has, like, 500 capsules in here. And I took one yesterday. Sometimes I just take these, like, every other day. You know, stuff like that. I don't really, like, be on it every day, but... The MSM, I did research on it yesterday that it's good to take MSM in the mornings because of um, it will keep you awake at night if you, you know, because it has like, um, let me see if it's say Well, basically, it's best to take in the morning because, you know, it, it will keep you up at night type stuff. I said, okay. And I took that yesterday morning. So yeah, MSM supposed to help with your hair and everything too. That's what I read about or heard from several YouTubers. Um, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so me, I try to take a lot of natural stuff. Like I have sea moss, I have kelp supplements. I have that green protein powder with all like a lot of greens and proteins and probiotics in it. I take a lot of herbal teas that cleanses your kidneys, your liver and everything like that. I'm more of a a health food type girl. I don't do over the counter Advil's anything. I got a headache, I got a toothache, I'm using clove oil. Clove oil. Cause I'm just natural like that or I'll just dug it out for real if I got a headache I'm chugging uh, lots of water and chewing on whole cloves I have some whole cloves in the cabinet that I would chew on like I put two in my mouth chew on it and it's really good for your your teeth and everything your mouth and everything like that because I have a herbal mouthwash that comes in like a, a liquid glass dropper bottle that you have to dilute with water because a little goes a long way and it's very concentrated so yes i'm really like into health natural stuff and just you know not putting all that over the counter pharmaceutical medicine in my body because um yeah i'm just trying to you know do it the right way and intake less of bad stuff with bad side effects and everything like that because I don't know when I moved to Cali like that's when I had got into Dr. Sebi stuff this was before anybody even knew about Dr. Sebi like nobody people know about him but nobody knew about Dr. Sebi like that until Nipsey Hussle passed away and I, by the grace of God, when I moved to California, this was like in 2013. It was like my mind and my, um, my just 
just I, I just felt more clear I was able to listen and hear things and that's when Dr. Sebi was still alive and I was ordering stuff from his website and everything like that I started eat try alkaline like his whole menu I tried you know eating alkaline and everything like that it was just like if I was on the east coast I wasn't thinking about anything healthy nothing like that but it's like when I came to Cali it's like my whole mind awakened to you know opening and listening if that makes sense but yeah Dr. Savy was alive when I came out here and I got on his little routines. I ordered from his websites when he was, it was official. I wouldn't order from it now because it's crazy. Like he got his wives and everything like that fighting or whatever. They they just got a lot of stuff going on to where as though I don't really trust ordering from the website. But I learned what I learned about alkaline and the body making sure the body is alkaline and everything like that so he really taught me a lot he woke me up and it's just sad um i'm you know sad about how he went out you know how they did him and everything like that because they don't want nobody out here healing people you feel me so i'm just really on a natural bench like everything i do is natural like mm -mm. I don't take any Advil, Tylenol, nothing like that. Like, you're not giving me nothing. You're not giving me nothing. I, I didn't take no COVID shots or anything. Like, kill me on national TV before I let you give me something. There's a lot going on. Y'all don't have a cure for cancer, AIDS, HIV, none of that stuff. Like, y'all not, I'm not believing nothing from you guys. Like, for real, I'm serious about my health. Like, Kill me on national TV before I let you put any type of shot in me. It's not that, no, no, no. And I, you know, I give it up to the people that did get the shot because they was, you know, jeopardizing, talking about y'all gonna get fired if y'all don't get the shot. It's just crazy. No, 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 no. But let me run out, you guys. My camera about to die. And I just wanted to hop on here because I'm about to start my day. And my hair, I got a hat on. Soon I'll be washing my hair. Probably, I don't know, maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow. But I'm just enjoying a little style right now. So, peace. What's up, you guys? I just got back in the house. And I'm about to wash my hair. Look at it. It is so itchy. It is all down. It's like ready to be washed. So yes, I'm I just I like the um the straight look for what it was, but it's time for me to wash it before yeah my hair come out. It's looking crazy my hair, so it's time to wash. I had text my hairstylist last night because he told me to get like certain shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioner masks. Yeah, I have the shampoo or well, one set of the shampoo and conditioner he said get and but the deep conditioner I didn't order that mask because it was online at this um website called Dollar Hair Club. Never heard of them but the reviews on them is pretty good. So I had to take a picture right I was like which one to use until I order that one? So he told me, he told me get rid of these. This is a Shea Moisture. This is a silicone mix and this is a mega growth one. He told me throw these in the trash. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Using this mask today and I'll be using, can you see it? If you guys haven't seen this mask, it's pretty good. It smells good too. It's like, a thick it's kind of thick but it's lightweight so i'm gonna use that one in the conditioner i'm going to be using this bed head this is the resurrection uh this is the super repair shampoo and conditioner they both smell so good let me see yeah they they smell really good and they'll go with that that moisture mask so i'm about to get get it in hopefully my curls revert back if they don't 
I'm gonna be pissed. But yes, for the most, when I got my hair done, April the 1st, and today is the 18th, so it's straight. I've been using dry shampoo to try to absorb the oil and everything like that, but I'm I'm tired of using uh, the dry shampoos and everything like that. Excuse my shirt. I just didn't care about what my bra was looking like in my shirt. So it is what it is. So let's get started because I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, I just got out the shower from washing my hair and I'm gonna leave this deep conditioner on for like 20, 30 minutes. Let me tell you about how the shampoo felt on my hair and conditioner. This stuff smelled, felt so amazing on my hair, you guys. I was not expecting this shampoo and conditioner to feel so good on my hair. Let me, I wanted to read it because yeah, it's like, it says on the bottle, it said, um, emitting is the best first step. Your hair needs all the help it can get. So start the resurrection. Visibly give weak and brittle hair the kiss of life using this super repairing shampoo to leave smooth and healthy looking. To use getting hair on the right track has never been so easy lather up massage and rinse for best results follow with the conditioner and on the conditioner it says bring dead ends bring dead in hair back to life using this damage defying conditioner with resurrection flower it helps to visibly revive and repair the signs of damage to leave hair looking smooth and healthy Give your whacked out hair the resurrection. It's been waiting for you. And you guys, like, no lie, the shampoo felt moisturized and good. I washed my hair twice with it. And the conditioner, it has so much slip. It's like, love, it's like my hair loves it. My hair felt, it went on my hair and it's like my hair was like, ooh, I love this. It was just like my hair was showing out it was showing that it really liked the shampoo conditioner and that's what i loved about it the slip was amazing the demon brush i got that that's a bass demon brush i have a collection of bass brushes and i found an actual demon brush from bass so i was like oh let me get that that was so good uh combing through my curls with the conditioner in it it just was easy it was easy my curls was clumped and everything my hair reverted back to the natural curl pattern as well with this shampoo and it just felt so good when i rinsed my hair out it just felt like silk it felt soft and everything and when i applied the wash day design essential deep conditioner mask that felt good as well on my hair it was like this combination is basically going to be a holy grail and basically you know in my hair care regimen for now on i have a couple more items that i need to get based on what my stylist recommended so i'm i'm thankful he actually recommended the blue bottle as well and that's the moisture repair so this is the super repair for weak and brittle hair i thought it was going to be you know clarifying but it's like perfect for breaking my hair from the straight to curl so the design is central. Let me show you the brush. And this is the Bass uh, Genuine Wood brush. This is the Demon brush. If you can see it, it's just like the Demon brush that you see with the red on it. And I was like, I love this because it's the Bass brand. I, you know, I'm collecting Bass brushes, so certain brushes. I have another one somewhere around here that i didn't use as well it's like a blow drying bash brush but this brush was so good with detangling my hair with the conditioner and it just was like smooth sailing the wash day process was smooth easy and just you know actually fun you know so yeah it's good so i'm gonna leave this on with the direction i say i can leave it on for 15 minutes under the dryer my, oh, I forgot my dryer broke you guys so let me do something let me put this on my hair because I forgot my freaking blow dryer broke so I'm definitely going to need one for my deep conditioning days so I'm going to just put this on and since I came reverted from straight hair so curly, I'm going to let this sit on my hair for like 30 minutes. Get that natural heat going under there. So yes, the wash day felt amazing. Like when you using the right products and everything and it's just smooth selling and your hair just feels good throughout the shampoo, conditioning and deep conditioning process. You just feel so good. Like my wash days 
all my wash days was never like felt felt so good and i'm just so glad that my uh hairstylist recommended these products because you know i think everyone should get their uh recommendations from actual salon cosmetologists about what shampoos and conditioners would be good for your health your hair health because like even if you're not going to the salon as much you're you want to be using quality nice products that's going to keep your hair healthy and everything like that and don't be using coconut oil and stuff like that because at the end of the day your hair is going to become dry so what I use coconut oil for is mainly my body and my downstairs area like after I shave or any stuff like that but let me go sit around for 30 minutes and I'm gonna rinse this out in the kitchen because I'm not getting back in the shower till later on <laughs> y'all I rinse my hair with cool water to lock in any moisture from the deep conditioner. And let me show you what products I'm going to just moisturize my hair with. You guys, this wash thing was A1. I loved every bit of it. The whole process was moisturizing, relaxing, soothing, gentle on my scalp. My scalp feels amazing and everything like that. Let me show you what products I'm going to use real quick. Ooh. This wash day was amazing, you guys. The whole thing about it was just top tier. Very relaxing. Very, like, made me happy throughout the whole wash day. From the shampoo to the conditioner. I'm just loving it. Rinsing out the deep conditioner. My hair feels, my hair feels so soft and just balance moisturize strengthen so once it's you know a little damp i'm gonna go in with a leave-in conditioner i'm not sure which one i want to use yet this is a african pride moisture miracle this is a coconut milk and honey so i was like should i use this make sure it's just not regular coconut oil I want to make sure coconut oil is not in here because if it's in here, I'm just not going to use it because if it got coconut oil in it, I don't want nothing drying on my. Oh, 
so this is out this has coconut oil I'm, I'm not gonna use that one so I'm gonna go in with this uh, daily dose miracle um what is this miracle moisture what both of them say miracle moisture <laughs> i just okay but this is the daily dose of brand i've been using this quite a, a lot and it's about to be gone honestly this smells really good this is a leave-in conditioner it um is instant benefits makes hair manageable makes hair manageable moisturizes and nourishes softens and strengthens non-greasy add shine eliminates frizz prevents breakage repair detangle and protects color so i did dye my hair so this would be good because it's it's going to soften and strengthen and bends though i have low porosity hair i want to use products with uh protein in it so this is going to be strengthening and soften my hair so i think this would be a good uh, leave-in conditioner to use and for my moisturizing cream I'm going to be using this can you guys see it this um, African pride moisture miracle curling cream this is the uh, shea butter flaxseed oil and let me thick, thick but light and airy so That's the consistency all from Trader Joe's. I just love the smell of it. And I got this avocado oil from my local grocery store. It's pure avocado oil. But I just love the smell of this um, argan oil. Hold on. I want to make sure there's oil in here. Because I don't want to. I'm going to make sure this is all argan oil. Because I have two bottles. I might got the wrong one. Oh, this might be the right one. Let me see. See, I hate when I mix stuff and don't don't write. I don't label my oils. I will put like some extra oil in the bottle, and I need to get me like a label maker because I don't, I don't like what I just did. Okay. I found another bottle of the argan oil. I'm pretty sure what I put in this one is bergamot oil, but I just, you know, I wanted to just keep it simple and just use straight argan oil on my hair. So, yes, my hair should be damp enough to moisturize it. So, let's do that. That's what my hair is looking like, you guys. It's still uneven, but hey, it's growing out. The right side is uneven. So let's start with the leave-in conditioner. Oh, I got this new body wash from Dove um, the other day. Let me see. Can you, this is so good. It smells so good. I spray my hair all over. I love this smell. My hair feels so soft. Like this is how I want all my wash days to be. My hair feels so freaking good. Like it really just feels so manageable, soft, and just like it just feel really balanced. Oh my god, like it feels so good. I'm so happy. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair, but I'm gonna just make sure I get that moisture. <laughs> Usually I don't like to really do too much to my hair, but moisturize it when it's still in a damp state. Because when it's dry, I like to, you know, do some more manipulation to it, like stretch it out and 
wear it in a stretch stretched a stretched protective style but yeah it feels so good though i ain't even gonna hold you it feels really good so let me apply the moisture cream i'm gonna do like this much moisture cream for my whole head and that's all you guys i'm gonna just moisturize my hair up Ooh, hopefully that's not too much get my crown area can you see it so i'm gonna just make sure everything is moisturized but that's how my hair got down to my waist by keeping it moisturized you guys i can't even tell you exactly all of the products i was using but i can tell you at that time i was a product junkie i used to do so many techniques i will uh do the um method to as though i'll put a bag over my head while it was still moist and you know keep the bag going overnight i used to do so much it's crazy like when you first become a natural i'm watching so many videos but my main ones was like nap natural 85. i really did a lot of her stuff um 22nd century natural hair woman i used to do a lot of her stuff because i remember i used to band my hair with like so many uh hair bands and that of me and that'll be stretched and stuff that'll let my hair be stretched so my hair the product majorly is absorbed in there i'm being really gentle on my hair because it just feels so good like and you see this side is way longer than this side <laughs> You see it, but you really can't see a really big difference, but I'm just trying to keep up on my trims and yeah, that's the thing that was actually a setback when I first went natural. Like my hair was real. I was like, what? I was determined to grow my hair long and it got long, but I really wasn't. I was trimming it at home, so. And it was a lot of like unevenness because I would trim my hair when it was curly. So now I'm going to go in with this. This avocado oil is gone. So I'm going to just. If it's something in the bottle. I thought I seen something. Oh, it's coming out really slow. And so I'm going to just use the rest of this. Because I did use the avocado deep conditioner. Like, that's it. I'm going to need some, some of that oil soon. I'm going to put this on my hair. And the argan oil is really good for the hair. So. I'm really gonna TLC the crown. That's where my problem area is my crown. It's like I tend to forget to moisturize it. Make sure all my hair is coated in the oil. It. I still have like a little pain on around the front of my hair. I don't know what it is. Like when I'm when my hair is straight, sometimes my hair, my head start hurting. Like my scalp will start hurting. So that'd be like a sign. So I need to wash my hair. And after I wash it, it's like it feel relieved. 
so yes you guys that's my wash day i don't think i have any straight pieces like let me see hold on now i don't know if those heat damaged or just need some more tlc the back of my head is always looser as well so i think for the most part i don't have heat damage and this is very important to do like every two weeks after you get your hair straightened you want to make sure you use the right products to bring your hair back revert it back and that shampoo and conditioner i love i've seen so many different uh kinds and rolls and everything i was like hold on but i ain't mad at it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any type of heat damage or whatever you just want to keep you know putting that tlc in it make sure your hair is balanced and everything like that and go to a cosmetologist or your local hairstylist to get some information on what product should you be using to be you know helpful in the midst of not getting your hair done by a professional you want to use quality products at home so love you guys see you on the next video peace good morning you guys i just wanted to show you guys my hair last night i banded my hair in four sections just to stretch it so i used my scrunchies to stretch out my hair